Who is that? Okay, come in. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, sir. How are you, sir? Thank you, sir. So, what's the problem? The, there's a particular issue I want to discuss with you, sir. And it's about my promotion in this organization. Okay. Sir, for the past 10 years, I've not been promoted. And Mr. Kule that joined us for the past two years, I've been promoted. Sir, that's the complaint. And what's the problem, sir? Okay. Hold on a minute. Are you ready to lose your job? No, sir. Then do you realize that I'm the manager of this company? Yes, sir. And I will decide the time you will get your promotion. Okay, sir. So, right this minute, stand up and get the hell out of my office. I'm sorry, sir. Get out. Yeah. Today I'm going to be sharing something very simple with this little time I have and what I'm going to be sharing with us is titled Changing Times and Seasons. Changing Times and Seasons. So now, many believers out there, they have used this word to boycott their success, to boycott their destiny. The word like, it is God that will do it for me at my own time. But I tell you something, anybody with the Bible should open to the book of James chapter 5 and verse 17. James chapter 5 and verse 17 says, Yes. Christ was a man subject to like to like passion as we are. Yes. And he prayed earnestly that it might not train. And he trained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. By the space of three years. Now, something Elijah did at that point was that he changed the times and seasons of that nation with prayer. He says, and he prayed earnestly. Earnestly. Another person would say he prayed fervently. He prayed. So one of the keys that we can use to change the time and season of our own life, if Elijah can press into prayers and change his, the nation, he can change the nation time and season, then, only then, we ourselves, if we press in, we'll be able to change the seasons and the times of our lives. We may be going through tough times and we'll be saying it is god the god that giveth god that taketh no no believers we have been given one key called the master key when jesus came he activated that key so as believers if you engage in fervent prayers your time and seasons will change Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Amen. If you read the verse 18, can you read it for us? And he prayed again. And he prayed again. And the heaven gave rain. And the heaven gave rain. The earth brought forth a fruit. Exactly. So after the space of three and a half years, Elijah came again to render prayers, to change the season. According to the normal weather forecast of everything, there is time and season. There's time for Amata, there's time for summer time, there's rainy time, and there's autumn, there's spring. But Elijah, through prayers, he stopped it, he dismantled those arrangements. So with prayers, you can do something. Can you stand up and we, as we pray? Can you rise up to your feet as we pray? Father Lord Jesus, Father remember me, Jesus remember me, say your word and ask and it shall receive, seek and it shall be found, knock and it shall be opened, Jesus remember me, it is my time and season, Jesus remember me, Shakata kata lembra and dada zuba gada gada, Jesus remember me, that my name of Jesus, Jesus remember me, Shakata kata lembra and dada zuba gada gada, Shakata kata lembra and dada zuba gada gada, Jesus remember me. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Okay, come for me, sir. Yes, yes, I did. Um, have your seat. Thank you, sir. So I have something on the end to do for you. Okay, sir. Okay, here it is. Thank so you. from today, you have been promoted to the managing director of this company. Wow. So second in command after me. Seriously? Yes. Wow. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm very grateful, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Thank Make sure you, sir. you do your best. I want 
ultimate performance from you. Okay, I'll try my best, sir. Thank yes. you, sir. Thank you very much. I'm grateful, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Okay, you were blessed by that ministration. Okay, you were blessed by that playlet you just watched. This is a reminder that if you are facing something very strong, if you are facing something that you are not comfortable with, if you are in a season, in a time that is not pleasant to you, do not accept it. Do not accept it. Don't be part of those believers saying, this is my time to suffer when the time of enjoyment comes. No, no. Let your mentality change. Let your mentality change. Your prayer can do a lot. Scripture makes us understand that the fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. All you need to do is to present a sweet salvo, a sweet sacrifice of prayer to God. And your life will change. Things around you will change. I'm praying for everyone viewing this. That in the name of Jesus, those facing something, that in the name of Jesus, God will come for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you and see you in the next one.